Dear students, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Manzur Ahmad Ghanai, lecturer in history. Our today's topic for 12th class students of history subject is, or the question is, in what ways would the daily routine and special festivities associated with the, associated with the Mughal court have conveyed a sense of power of the emperor? Dear students, <coughs> let us explain the question. We know that in this unit we are talking about the Mughal court. The Mughal court means the royal darbar, the shahi darbar of the king. And in the Shahi Darbar, in the Royal Darbar, or in the Mughal court of the king, uh, a number of activities and routine work is used to take place daily. And on the occasion of festivals, there used to be some more activities that used to be take that used to take place uh, in the Royal Darbar, Shahi Darbar of the king. Now, in this question, we have been asked, what were the activities and routine works carried out in the Royal Darbar of the king, which showed king's power and prestige? before the people. Dear students, several activities and routine works are carried out in the Royal Darbar which indicated or which showed, which conveyed a sense of emperor's or king's power before the people. Number one, the seating arrangement of the court was made in such a way where the emperor's throne, that's what we call Takhat, was at the center place and masterpiece depicting his power and strength means that in the uh, court of the uh, royal palace in the court we can see in the mughal court we understand that the the king's seat was located at the center place at the end of the and not only at the center place it was it was at the highest point king's throne was at the highest point in the royal court and no other seat was uh, was as high as that of the king as that of the emperor and the king's uh, the king's throne was adorned and embellished in such a way that no other seat no other seat was embellished in that way therefore anyone who entered the royal court anyone who entered the this royal shahi darbar royal darbar of the king would in would in himself whenever he entered the court he had a look at the dazzling throne of the king badshah ke jo takht tha uski khoobsurti ko dekh kar wo hairan rehta tha and king's throne being at highest place and at the center place and the place of adornment all these things in itself conveyed king's power number two everyone who entered the mughal court had to bow before the king and kiss his feet kiss emperor's feet on this practice of uh, bowing before the king and kissing emperor's feet in itself showed the symptom or the uh, showed indicated the king's power and prestige among the people. Number three, in order to further reinforce the authority of King Shah Jahan introduced the practice of Chahar Taslim and Zameen Bose. Chahar Taslim means uh, this putting uh, one uh, the back side of right hand, back side of right hand on the ground and slowly picking this hand up and, and uh, raising uh, while, while st standing up slowly and put the palm of this right hand on the center of the head on the center of the head and do this practice four times and this is called the chahar and taslim means uh, complete submission so this practice of chahar taslim and zameen bos means king, the, king, kissing the place where there used to be king's feet and this chah, practice of chahar taslim and zameen bos further reinforced the king's power and prestige uh, in the royal court in the in the royal darbar this practice was introduced by shah jahan Number four, daily in the morning, the emperor used to appear in Jaroko Darshan for an hour. Jaroko Darshan means a practice in which king, in which kings except Aurangzeb, daily in the morning used to come out of their palace, out of their darbar, out of their this sleeping room in the morning, and there was a special window, and through that window uh, he used to uh, this show his face to the people, and and down to that window in the ground there used to be. There used to be a huge gathering of people who were eager to see the uh, this image, see, see, see their king, have the vision of the people. And this practice is called Jaroko Darshan. And this practice of Jaroko Darshan, in which king used to show himself to the people, gives vision to the people, in itself speaks about the king's value and king's importance for the people, as people used to be eager to see the, the see the, see the, uh, their king. The Number next, after Jaroko Darshan, the emperor walked to the Diwani Aam, means the, that hall where he used to listen to the officials 
to the ministers, to the wazirs, their reports and discuss various matters with them. And after that, he used to enter the Vani Khas, mean as a hall where king used to conduct the secret meetings with the secret officials, with, with a number of confidential matters are discussed in the Vani Khas. And the king's uh, way of appearing in the Vani Am and the Vani Khas, he appeared in such a great splendor, in such a great uh, this, uh, splendor, leaving a great impression of his authority. Means that whenever king used to enter the Vani Am or the Vani Khas, Whenever he used to enter, there used to be pin drop silence in the court. No one could utter even a single word. No one could move his lips even. No one could smile even in the royal court at that time. And everyone was very much eager, was impatient to listen about king's orders. And whenever king used to give any order in this, Divani Amar, Divani Khas, these orders were acknowledged and this uh, fulfilled, obeyed by the people uh, without saying even a single word in response. This king's word was final. So everything that was used to be done was done by the king, every talking, everything, and no one else could laugh, could smile, could, any word, could say any word without king's power, without king's permission. So his way of appearance, and his way of behaving in the king's way of behaving in the Devani Am and Devani Khas uh, in itself so woke up of his power and prestige among the people and among his courtiers. Number seven, on special festive occasions like anniversary of accession of emperor, means Bacha ke jab, uh, jab takhat sambala hota tha, ke, jab ek sal hota tha, to king ki takhat nishini ki anniversary par, uh, yaar on the or on the occasion of Eid, Shabhi Bharat, Shabhi Kadir and other such festivals, the court was full of life. Every visitor is used to get dazzled to see the decoration and pomp and show of the royal court. So this decoration, this uh, uh, this uh, we can say the uh, dazzling, uh, this uh, look of the royal court, you know, also con conveyed about king's power and prestige. On birthdays of king, the king used to weigh himself against gold and distribute that gold among, among the people to create a sense of his generosity and a sense of his richness and wealth among the people. Means that people. So these are some all practices which uh, were done by, on the, in the royal court, in the Shahi Darbar of the king, which depicted or showed king's power and prestige among one and all.